Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate, and I got a good one for you today. I got bright things for you. Yes, bright things out on the horizon. Welcome to the horizon. The 1,680 square foot, three bedroom, two bath with a den. And I believe in the floor plans, it also shows that you can make that den into a fourth bedroom. But trust me, once you see the den, you're not gonna wanna make it a fourth bedroom. You're gonna wanna leave it the way it is. And you can find this wonderful home at Palm Harbor Village in Waco, Texas. I'd like to say thank you for letting me come to film the homes. Now, what else should we say about this one? Well, you're just gonna have to wait and get inside. I can say I filmed another version of this one at another location just recently. And uh, this one is pretty much all sheetrock. The other one was pretty much all board and bat. So that just goes to show you even though you see a home that uh, is board and bat, there could be an option to make it sheetrock versus board and bat. So we also got this nice little recess here perfect for when you're coming home and you need to get out of the weather a little bit and open the door. So now as you can tell, this one is not trimmed out. All those two by fours, those are gonna come out once you get the home set up. Those are just supports for transport. So keep that in mind. There's a lot of stuff you'll see that you won't see once you get this home delivered to your plot and set up. Good sized living room here. And we might as well just come on into the kitchen here. We got, so we got some really nice beams here. I like these pendant lights I got. Hanging over this massive center island. We got lots of cabinet space down here. So now as you can tell, there's no power set up in this home. So uh, I'm doing my best to get you a good shot. And we got these stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. And this is gonna be your pantry. You got storage above your fridge. And I like the way this is laid out. You've got your pantry, you've got your fridge, your stove, and then when you're done with everything, you just come on around right to the sink, from the sink to the dishwasher. So it just kind of flows all the way around. Now these are non-adjustable shelves. 
And that runs all the way down that way. And this one goes all the way back that way. So it's kind of magic when you look at it because it looks like the shelving <laughs> really runs all the way that way with no break in it, but yet this one looks like it goes all the way that way with no break in it. So they did a pretty darn good job with the shelving in there, getting them lined up really good. So it's hard to see, but we got a bunch of drawers right here. This is kind of a dark blue on the cabinets down below, whereas your white one or your upper ones are a white. And of course our dining room area with the recessed lighting above you. And in our utility room, we've got our water heater access directly ahead of us. We've got room for a freezer. And there's our back door and our electrical panel. And then of course our side-by-sides. Now we're gonna come down the hallway and there is your central heating and air furnace. Of course, the air conditioner will be mounted outside. And in our bathroom, we've got, once again, those really dark blue cabinets here. Let me turn the light on. That might help a little bit in here. That'll help a little bit. So these dark blue cabinets with the stack of drawers, Nice big counter. I like the size of this counter. And then we've got the one piece shower tub combo. Go check out the bedroom that is directly across the way. Yeah, you saw part of that den, didn't you? <laughs> See what I'm saying? You're gonna wanna keep it. You're not gonna wanna make that a bedroom. I mean, heck, you've got big bedrooms already. You don't need a fourth one. Nah, just get bunk beds. Put all the kids in one room. <laughs> that might get a little crowded. Of course, I don't know how many kids each of you have. I have one. I really like the way they did the fireplace here and the little accent around it. And you can fit a pretty large TV in between those beams. Of course, I don't think you're gonna fit a 100 inch, but I bet you could fit a 75 to 80 in there still.
All right, we gotta go check out the uh, master bedroom here. So really large bedroom, I mind you like two by four over there, that's coming out when you get this all set up. It'll look much better once it's all trimmed out. Then we got our bathroom back here. So we gotta say hello to Raiden. Really nice layout on the counters and the way they've got it set up here. I like these little shelves they've got put in. Now this is a board and ba bathroom, but I'm telling you, the way they've got the trim laid out and all that, it just looks really good. And we've got our little bench there to put your shoes on or sit down, get dressed, that kind of stuff. Another knick-knack shelf up above you. And as we swing around, we've got our closet. Now this is a really nice sized closet. You've got lots of space in here. And we've got our linen cabinet right here. Nice big water closet, nice and wide. Won't feel quite so cramped in there as you do might in some of the others. And I really like the shower here you got this nice big old bench to sit down on. Got a window in your shower. Don't forget to let me know what you think of the rest of the home. Did you like it? What kind of changes would you make? And uh, don't forget to uh, turn on those notifications after you hit that subscribe button. That way you get notified when I upload videos. I do appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one. Have a good night. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It's a really nice home. You said there's a couple different versions of it. I Kind of prefer this version over the other, just because this one's got, you know, the mostly sheetrock outside of your, like, your bathroom and your closets, things like that. So, uh, but anyway, we got to get into some price information on this home. Now, this one uh, is at Palm Harbor Village in Waco, Texas. The other one I filmed was at Palm Harbor Homes in, I believe, Abilene, Texas. So, the same company, just, you know, however they decide to call it. But anyway... The price information that I have for this has it coming in now at January of 2023. Could be extra freight charges, extra city fees, county fees, you know, just things that we can't account for when we're giving you the price information because they don't know where you're going to have the home delivered. But with all that said, you know, this is at uh, time of filming, January of 2023. The price that they gave me on this one is $150,000. So that's a really good price on this home. And I uh, hope you all are enjoying the videos. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.